The circular economy presents an opportunity to transform our current linear system into one that's good for business, people and the environment. But how can we explain all of what the circular economy has to offer? Well, we developed three core principles, all driven by design. And in this video, we're summarising the second of those, circulate products and materials. Frequently, products like this toaster are difficult to fix. Parts might be glued together, it might need a custom screwdriver to take the thing apart. And often, the simplest action for someone to take is to throw the thing away and buy a new one. Well, that needs to change. A toaster designed for the circular economy is simple to repair and may come with instructions and easy access repair features. And when you no longer want it, you just find a resale market. Companies building products for greater circulation are starting to alter their business model to make returning products much easier. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. Gerard Street has pioneered a subscription service for its modular headphones, and their modular design allows 85% of components to be reused. They use durable standardised designs, meaning fewer virgin materials are used to create the new headphones. The subscription model allows Gerard Street to recover and recycle their headphones at the end of their life. From headphones to packaging, Club Zero deploys a reuse system for on-the-go food and beverages. They provide brands and retailers with standardised, unlabeled food and beverage packaging. And they've built in digital traceability. And that allows Club Zero to manage a system of collection through a network of drop-off points and through their washing and redistribution, working with brands to make reuse a seamless experience for users. And to date, Club Zero reports replacing more than 2.2 million single-use items and they have a 95% return rate on their packaging. The idea of access over ownership through business model innovation is a central concept in the circular economy. A platform called Lizzie works with major retailers to rent camping equipment for a small fee. That way, the equipment can be utilised more often by more people rather than gathering dust or taking up space in people's homes. And Lizzie even manages delivery, pickup and insurance for their service. But what about perishable items like food or cotton? Well, we treat those somewhat differently. As you might know, we separate materials into two categories, biological and technical. And the process of how they can be circulated depends on which cycle they belong to. In the technical cycle, products like the toaster or tents, they're reused, repaired, remanufactured and recycled as appropriate. In the biological cycle, where goods can't be repaired and reused, we should seek to extract value from them through activities like composting and anaerobic digestion. That way we manage to capture valuable nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, which can be used to help regenerate the land so we can grow more food or grow renewable material like cotton and wood. The key to all of this is design. We need to be smart about how we design products in the first place so they can go through one or more of these circular loops. That's a short look at the second principle, but bear in mind the real power of the circular economy comes when we combine all three.